Hello and welcome to another video of Cafe ASP. Uh, that's the uh, username on Twitter. Uh, this video it's about this is a follow up or a part two of how to send and read tweets using the API. Uh, as you can see on this video, I did show how to do that, how to send and read tweets using ASP.NET. Now in this video I'm gonna use the same uh, code that I have on this video, but differently. Uh, the idea is, as you can see, when you follow somebody, like for example, think Geek, uh, you get these updates on your timeline. For example, Casemate and Google Maps. So every day you'll get like a update from these companies that you're following so anyways this video it's how can you make <clears throat> how can you send updates to Twitter's that allow your application um, to send updates to their accounts so as you can see we'll test it out uh, using my account uh, ASP cafe ASP so you can see right now I'm, I'm logged in in Twitter so what I'm gonna do is logged out and the idea is that people will you you have a, your website this is a sample site so the idea is that once the user the Twitter user clicks on this image or any kind of image uh, it will take them to a page where they authorize um, your application so you can so you can send updates to their Twitter account now the idea is after you click this guy you authorize then the page will take you to wherever you want to go in this case I'm gonna send it back to YouTube so we'll go for it as you can see uh, we need permissions uh, this is uh, this demo that I have as you can see it's only for testing but you get the idea the person will come here type their user Twitter uh, user and their password and we'll be able to read and uh, post tweets so that's what we want so as you can see you're gonna receive updates and then suddenly you're gonna get redirected back to to the page that I was talking about to any page you wish to so that worked perfectly now after the user has done this that means uh, that now you can send updates to their account like for example here now how do I send updates well that's the nice thing about ASP you can make your own application really fast and as you can see here I have the basic template from ASP.NET and what I've done is from the previous video I already did show how to do the uh, send tweets so as you can see at the top I have a user already now let me update because I just I have a test user in my actual account so now we can send updates to both users either you click one at a time so try it out so everything was work fine now let's go back to Twitter and refresh so you can see you got your tweet and of course, whoever is managing this application doesn't have, for example, my password. Or it has my username, but not my password. So you can see, but I still was able to send uh, updates. Now, what about if I want to send, you know, a mass update? Imagine that you have 50 or 100 Twitter accounts. Uh, doing one at a time it will take forever so here we got a, a list box 
and all we're doing is here we want to send updates to everybody here on the list or you could also do uh, control click and in this case I don't have another but you could do just this one or you know click one at a time anyways so you click all and do the same thing send the whole update so as you can see the application went send the update to everybody in the list anybody that subscribe uh, to your uh, Twitter they'll get an update here now you can see cafe SP got the update now let's go I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log in as this other user Victor 240 VS this sign out okay so now I'm gonna log in as uh, I can use the email I have a this dummy account so we'll enter the password sign in and we should see both updates well actually at least just one here we go so we got the second update that I sent the last update was this one hello everyone and let's say I only want to send it to uh, Victor 240 let's check it out all good we go here update hey Victor so it's working perfectly so the next thing uh, to see what I sent so I have this other tab which I named logs you can name it whatever but we'll check what was sent and as you can see everything that I sent just now and before went through and if you have any errors it, they will show up here but there's none so as you can see it's really easy uh, to submit updates to anybody that wants to uh, subscribe to your your updates and you could use this as for marketing purpose you can say you know I have a discount for the following week or whatever product is coming out then you can use something like this like a mass update and and send uh, on checkout use uh, coupon code S1111 see so that means that all your customers or whoever is following you will, will be able to hey go to your site or whatever and submit this coupon code and check out with a discount so that's the whole idea of this demo uh, and this demo is uh, as you can see is using the Microsoft membership take you back out and if I want to go back in as you can see it's password protected you cannot just come in and, and mess with it so if you have any questions send me a tweet or leave me a comment on YouTube and I will get back to you as soon as I can thank you for watching so now here's the code that I use for the video that you just saw uh, so you know the first thing that I did was um, let me go back to here so as you can see this image uh, this is what the image button I'm using so when they clicked on I'm using my custom customer keys customer secret for your own application and in here I'm sending hey I'm um, the callback uh, it's gonna be at this location so once the Twitter returns it returns to this uh, ASPX web page and as you can see here I'm getting the token and then after that I'm redirecting the user uh, to my page that I want so now I'm gonna open the authorize page and as you can see you always need to have your your key and your secret for your application so uh, once the user comes to this page when it's loading 
I'm checking for the token and the verify and then what this code is the same thing this code hasn't changed from the first video that I made uh, submitting updates and what I'm doing here is hey I'm pulling out the profile image and the username and I'm just saying this is static uh, you will receive updates you know you will be redirected to my YouTube channel and after that as you can see for you to send updates on behalf of this guy or to that Twitter account uh, you need to save uh, uh, two things you need the token secret and the token for that specific uh, Twitter user um, and as you can see here I'm using link to SQL and here I'm just checking do I have this user in my database if I don't is if my count is zero uh, then I go ahead and insert it into my table and from that table is where you pull your token and then the token secret to send the updates very straightforward and go back and open let me see we'll open I wanna open the where you actually manage the, the where you can see the updates so as you can see here on my page load first I check if my page is not a post back if not uh, in my drop down list that shows the Twitter's uh, Twitter account it's gonna mess it up so here I'm just populating my drop down list that's all and I'm and make sure you set your your data value to the ID because that's a unique ID in your database so once I have that and I want to send an update this is the code same from the first video and here I'm pulling the ID from the drop down so I'm, I'm checking okay your ID was one so I go get your token and your token secret then I send the update the tweet and it's encoded HTML encoded that's it now if I show you the mass update it's basically the same thing so as you see here um, page low same thing you get a list box in this case now the same thing and here what I'm doing is when you clicked on I'm checking if all the items in the list box are were selected and here I have a flag if the user was selected uh, if, there's, if this equals false then this code doesn't run but if everybody was checked on or checked then I check if your uh, text box was has any string to it any updates if it doesn't it will fail it will say I didn't update first or whatever then it goes through the list box again but in this case it's gonna pick up uh, the ID and do the mass update per user so down here I have this uh, method that will require a user ID that's the Twitter ID and it will pass it on to link as you can see here is pass it on then I grab the first because there's only one user per ID here you get the token the token secret and you send the tweet or the update from the text box now everything is good and we'll just uh, update it here I'm just updating if the update was good not no it was everything's fine then I will save it this on my table on my log table sent log table if not I will dump it into another table called error logs and you can see I'm passing on the table there pretty simple uh, this guy and this other one that kind of thing there what this guy is just checking if the check box change it will check if it's checked it's true then I will make sure everything's checked because if your pitch uh, does a post back you need to make sure that you're leaving uh, the items as check if it wasn't then you uncheck it very simple so as you can see code is still the same thing as the first video that I made so if you have any questions uh, 
send me an email or send me an up uh, you can check out the YouTube video and leave me a comment on this video thank you for watching